Hello stampers! I am Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Sunday night Facebook Live. I am going to chat with you here for just a little bit. Well, it's kind of usually longer than a little bit. <laughs> While I wait for you guys to all get in here so you don't miss anything. Um, we have had a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, weekend here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Um, I shared a couple pictures of me and Val. Val was over here a lot. And uh, we got to go to the park, and we laid in the grass and looked at the sky, and um, we did all the park things. And then we went and sat by the uh, skateboard park. We have a really nice skateboard park right down the street here. We walked to the park. And we just sat there, and I'll bet you we sat there for at least an hour on the bench and just watched all the boys on their scooters, their bicycles, and their skateboards going up and down the ramps and doing all the fancy things. And she is just mesmerized by watching other kids. It's so fun to see her, like, really take an interest in things. So that was pretty cool. I thought we were going to have a little fight getting away from the park, but the fight actually took place today, and I'll tell you about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that little girl is so strong-willed. It is such a hoot. Like, you can't even know. And I'm sure some of your kids have been like that, but Haley will ask me, like, Mom, what would you do if she does this? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. You didn't act like that. <laughs> and, and in a good way. Like, she can be a real handful, but she is so full of personality, and she's really stubborn, and she can go from zero to 100 in two seconds flat, <laughs> and she's two. <laughs> it just, it's always, like, so hilarious. That's the word for it. I'm going to get my iPad set up here so I can see your comments when we turn this camera around. Hang on. I thought I turned that volume down, but apparently I was mistaken. That won't be the first time I'm mistaken tonight. I guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. So, what else has been... Oops, hang on. I just knocked it over. Good grief, Kelly. Where's my comments? There we go. They're coming in. Okay, so what else is happening? Um, I have... We went to a baby shower today. Um, Haley played soccer when she was in from, you know, like four years old on up through high school. And um, there we had a pair of twins on the soccer team and one of the twins had baby shower today. They're both having babies and they're not having twins, but um, one of them is due a little bit later. But today we had a baby shower from one of the twins. So Haley and I and Val and baby Dawson went. Dawson was a perfect little angel. Val on the other hand, she started out really good, and then she was a little bit of a handful. She, like, got restless and wanted to run around, which, of course, you know, like, she's two. And then she set her eyeballs on the playground outside. We were at one of those park pavilion, indoor building park pavilions. And she spotted the playground out there, and that was pretty much all it wrote. So she starts heading for the door, and I'm just standing there like, well, where do you think you're going? Because you're not going out there. She walks over and pushes the door open, and it's really heavy pushes it right open. I'm like, oh my good Lord. So I go running over there and I said, no, you have to wait. We have to wait. We can't go outside and play yet, but we'll go outside and play. And I tried to reason with her. Nope. She's having none of it. So when I tried to like pick her up, she did, we call this her, I can't really say the word because it's not very nice, but she throws herself and she goes completely limp and you like can't hang on to her. <laughs> blank bod that's what we call it she did the blank bod and <laughs> she did that and threw herself backwards and I had all I could do to hang on to her and I'm trying to pick her up and I finally got her up and we're gonna go outside now because now she's screaming this is not our show right I don't want to distract from the baby shower that is happening right now so I go to take her outside and when I did she threw herself sideways whacked her head on the door frame <laughs> It was just a whole thing. <laughs> and yes, in the end, um, I did bring her back in. And uh, then a little while later, her mom took her outside. And um, it was really funny because they were out there for a while. And then she came back to the door, which she can't pull open. She she's She's standing at the door like this. And like everybody 
that's sitting at tables watching the, the, the mother-to-be open her presents is looking over there as Val is yelling, banging on the window, and she started calling me Granny now. Ganny! Ganny, come! Ganny, come! And everybody just busts out laughing. <laughs> so I had to go. And then we went out and we played and we played um, on the playground and it was just so funny. But good Lord, this child. <laughs> She's a hoot. Yesterday, her and Haley and the baby came over and let's see, I had her for a little while. I don't remember why. Haley had to go do something. That's when we went to the park and watched the skateboarders and then um, Steve started a fire in the backyard and we roasted some marshmallows. She really liked those. First first roasted marshmallow. I made it for her. It was perfect golden brown with a little bit of burn. <laughs> Who likes their marshmallows burned? So we roasted marshmallows and she played with the golf balls with Steve because that's their thing. And he's got a great big bucket full of all colors of golf balls and they do all kinds of stuff with them. Mostly make a mess. But um, she loves it. And then they decided they were going to have a sleepover. Well, I have my my whole upstairs of my house is remodeled. There's just a few things that need to happen. Like if you look over there, my doors still need to be painted up here and the um, trim on the transition between rooms on the floor still needs to be done. And my window out there is still pretty crummy. But anyways, I've had my whole upstairs remodeled. So I've got this beautiful little guest room, right? It's my dressing room. If you've been following me, you know I have a dressing room. It's just a bedroom where I put my makeup on, but dressing room is fancy, right? So they're going to sleep over, and I got this beautiful, great big bed in there, and oh, it's so, everybody who stays here tells me it's the most comfortable thing in the world. So they go to bed having some problems. Val is kind of a little agitated and whatever, and so I go to bed, and I wake up this morning, and the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I make my bed, because my bed is my bedroom's pretty now. It never used to be pretty, so I didn't make my bed because I didn't give two hoots about it. But now it's pretty, and I like my bed to be made. <laughs> so I'm making my bed, and I'm trying to be really quiet because I don't hear anything going on in the house. And uh, I come out of my bedroom, and I look. The door's open to the guest room, and nobody's in there. And I'm like, oh, they're already up. So I go downstairs. They're not. They're not even here. <laughs> they left. <laughs> So me and Steve never heard a thing, but I said something to him. I'm like, where are my babies? He goes, yeah, I woke up this morning and they were gone. They must, or no, he said he got up um, not too long after we went to bed. And he goes, they were gone. So <laughs> that's so funny. Anyways, they came back over. I made buttermilk pancakes and we have, Steve just got a ton of venison meat made into things. Jerky and beef st or venison sticks, and we like sausage links, like breakfast sausage links. So I made I made venison sausage links, and we had um, homemade maple syrup and um, buttermilk pancakes for breakfast. So it's been a day <laughs> again. <laughs> it was so much fun. We had a blast. But that was my weekend. Um, I don't even know what happened last week. That seems like a year ago because there's been so much activity. But it's been really, really nice here, and I've been doing my bike ride and my walk at the Arborate or at the um, Wetland Preserve every day, except today. I think I did it yesterday. Yeah, because I saw one deer. Finally saw one deer. Um, I hadn't seen any deer in three days, but I saw one yesterday. So I think they're having their babies, and that's why I'm not seeing them, which is interesting, right? So um, it's been a week. It's been a super duper busy week. I've been working on all kinds of things. I am in a bunch of swaps. So I've been trying to get those going um, so I can get them out the door. I have a helper that makes my swaps for me. Thank you, Brooke. You are amazing and worth your weight in gold. Um, Steve just got back from a long bike ride. He went way out in the country. There are some little towns and all the things and I heard his bike leave and come back. It always makes me, I love the sound of a Harley. <laughs> um, so he did that. Today he got my pool ready to roll. So excited. He put all the, all the connections back together and got the pump on. He made a new gasket for the filter because it had a little drip on it, which is not tolerable. 
he put um, filled up the chlorinator. We use these big three inch pucks. They look like a hockey puck, only they're white, um, in a chlorinator on our pool. And so what we found is that last year, a bucket, which is like 25 pounds of chlorine pucks are $77 last year. This year, they're 170 some dollars. So I don't know if they're putting little gold flakes in them or <laughs> what's going on. That was a little disturbing. So he, um, he thought, well, we'll use more liquid shock instead of the chlorine pucks. We'll turn the chlorinator down so it lose, uses less. We'll, we'll put more liquid shock in until those went from $10 a case to 20. <laughs> like we can't win, but I don't care. <laughs> like I don't care. He's going to have it up and running next week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I wanted to share some things with you. Well, like I didn't just share a whole bunch, right? <laughs> I see lots of comments coming in about Harleys. Oh, I love the sound of a Harley. <laughs> um, I met, I don't know if Deborah's on here tonight. I met Deborah Davis from Marshall, Wisconsin. Molly had a musical concert on Thursday night and we went to that. And oh my gosh, Molly had a solo in it. She is the best little dancer. You can tell that she has done dance with the Park and Rec Department. You know, the dance classes, she's done those all the way since she was tiny, tiny on up. And she's up there doing her thing and she just knows how to do all the things and it's so cute. But their, their concert was really cool. She goes to St. Mary's um, Catholic School. And well, as we were, it was over and people were starting to walk out the aisles of this theater. Somebody says, is that Kelly A over there? And I'm like, yes, it is. Here it is someone who follows me that lives in Marshfield, Wisconsin. She was here to see her grandkids at the concert. So that was kind of cute. Big shout out to Deborah Davis. It was so nice to meet you. So... Um, that's always kind of, it's always kind of like, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I wanted to let you guys know, oh, what did I do with it? Right here. If anybody needs a catalog, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, if you're new to me, um, I would be happy to mail you this amazing catalog that you would love to have so that you can stamp with us. Uh, just pop me an email, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabub.com. And I'd be happy to mail that. Well, don't forget to give me your address because some people do that. So give me your address so that I can, I'll answer you back and I will get a catalog out in the mail to you. Uh, who just said something? Betty says, that's awesome that you met a fellow follower in person. I know, you know, I have another funny little story. It's quick. Steve and I, right before the pandemic hit in January of 2020, went on a cruise in the, um, you know, down south. We went to Cancun and um, Bar I don't know, down south, Mexico, Mexico way. It was really, really fun. And um, I'm sitting on a deck and Steve's sitting next to me. We're just sitting there and reading my Kindle. And I said something to him. We were talking and some ladies walking by the end of our, you know, lounge chairs. And she goes, are you Kelly Atchison? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She was a follower from like Colorado. So that was kind of funny too. <laughs> it's always a hoot. What did Sarah just say? Oh, I see Debbie Spice around here too. Um, no, it wasn't Sarah. It was Susan Simon. Met one of your, oh, Susan. Yes, Susan Simon was just in Branson. She's on here tonight watching. And um, <laughs> she said she met one of my team members in Branson, Missouri this week while I was hobnobbing with Deb Davis. So um, one of my team members, Cindy, she, my Uncle Pete and Cindy both make the syrup that I get. And Cindy was went to Branson on a, a bus trip with her husband. And they met um, Susan Simon, who said, do you know Kelly, eh? So I guess, I know Diane says you're famous. I know that's a little weird, right? <laughs> it's so funny though, because you know, it's like, I'm just Kelly, I'm just Kelly here in little old Menasha, Wisconsin. But anyways, it's kind of cute. Um, I wanted to show you guys my gifts that I got. So most of you know that our incentive trip with Stampin' Up! was canceled this year. 
um, you know, due to the pandemic, it was supposed to be a cruise, which is like my favorite, favorite way to go on a Stampin' Up! trip. And they had to cancel it. So what they did was they decided, they paid us out, first of all. They paid us a pretty good amount of money so that we can go on our own vacation. Because we work really hard for those trips. And then they sent us our pillow gifts, which when you go on a Stampin' Up! trip, um, you get pillow gifts every single day. Like something is left on your bed, wherever you're staying, every day. So they sent us our pillow gifts, which was really cool. And I wanted to share them with you. I got this big box. Where did my big box go? Let me show it to you. Here's my big box. I get this big box in the mail, right? And it's filled with all this fabulous stuff. So first of all, here's the card. Isn't that cute? Nice and bright and cheerful. It says, congratulations, trip, incentive a trip, trip achiever. We hope you enjoyed your cash out and use it for something meaningful, meaningful to celebrate your accomplishment. We're excited for you to indulge in these gifts. You deserve to be pampered after all of the hard work you put in to earn this prestigious reward. We're looking forward to virtually seeing you soon, Sarah and Shelly. So this was the card and it is a handmade card, of course. And then I got this box of goodies. So I'll start right here. Stampin' Up! mugs. Got two of them. They're super, super nice, heavy, nice mugs. I got this candle, which is so pretty. And it's a Capri Blue Volcano. And it smells kind of citrusy. Very, very nice little gift. I got... Guess what these are? These are AirPods, AirPods. I just bought some wireless buds because mine quit. Oh, soup mugs? No, they're real. I think they're coffee mugs. They're not big enough for soup. Um, but I just bought some buds, not these, because they were too expensive. I got the cheap ones, but now I have the expensive ones. So I'm pretty excited about these. And Stampin' Up! wrapped it as they always do. It's all about the presentation, right? They also sent us a little card that says, enjoy your Apple AirPods and use this QR code to access the music playlist on Spotify curated for our 2022 achievers. So you hold your phone up to that and take a picture like you we're doing in restaurants now to place an order. And we've got, um, we've got some playlist that we can listen to. So I thought that was pretty neat. Like how neat is that, right? And then, I'll show you the big kahuna. I have not even opened this yet. I thought it was a blanket, but it's not. So let me get this thing open. This was the uh, remainder of our gift and it's tied up here so tight. Get this off. I'm sure I'll be able to use this for something, right? Oh my gosh, you guys, I've heard about it. Oh, look at this. Holy cow, this thing is like 10 pounds of robe. This is beautiful and it's so soft. And somebody told me it was from Pottery Barn. <laughs> so I'm gonna feel like a movie star, that's for sure. So I just wanted to share that with you because it's always pretty neat, the stuff that Stampin' Up! decides to give us. Um, do you like my camouflage shorts with my cheetah print. I'm sure I'm totally clashing tonight, but quite frankly, I didn't expect to show you that the other half. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. So that was our fabulous gift. Like how cool is that? And I think I'll put this right up there. That's perfect. Right? So I can't wait to wear that. I just washed. Oh, that reminds me. Branded merchandise. I just washed this. It's hanging up to dry. This is the Stampin' Up! sweatshirt. I might have shown this to you last week. I can't remember because I've been live in so many places um, that might be private for my team, for all kinds of things. But this is a sweatshirt that says Stampin' Up! on it. And this is our Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. This is a beautiful, beautiful hoodie. And this is available in my online store. So if anybody is interested, just go to my online store, make sure you're shopping with Kelly Atchison, type in hoodie, and it'll come up in a search. It's pretty cool. I really like it. It's very, very 
good quality. It is true to size. I usually wear a large and it's a large and it fits perfectly. The other thing that I wanted to share with you, we have these mugs in all of the uh, in, new in colors. They're beautiful. Let me show you. I've got four of the in colors here. And the only one I don't have is the color of this mug because it's in a bin. We're going to use it tonight. Here's all of our colors in these beautiful, fabulous mugs. Now, these are really good quality also. Stainless steel on the inside. I think I'm going to order one in each color and take them to South Park and keep them there. I showed them. Okay, somebody said I showed them. But to find those in my online store, you're just going to do a search for Tumblr and they'll pop right up and you get to see all the pretty colors. All right. What else is happening here? John update. So um, John, we noticed yesterday, Haley and I, he has, what is that? What are those flowers? Like he has some um, landscaping in front of his house, like his door is here and then he has landscaping on both sides. What are those really close to the ground? It gets all pretty green and then they have like a carpet of purple flowers. I can't remember what they're called, but his are in full bloom and it is just beautiful. It's so, so pretty. And then Steve said, the other day he said, I was starting to get a little um, angry at John because he hasn't mowed his lawn yet and it's looking kind of trashy. And <laughs> then John mowed his lawn. So I don't know if they have some ESPN going on back and forth. Like he was like, oh, I think Steve is gonna want me to mow this lawn. So no, I'm just kidding. So anyways, that's my big John update. That's it, that's all I've got. Flocks, yes, flocks. Thank you, Nadine. Um, and anybody else who said that, it's phlox, and it's just beautiful. It's the real low stuff. Now, I had tall phlox in my flower beds out here that Steve destroyed. Creeping phlox, that's what it is. Yep, there's Cindy. Yep. So, um, anyways, it's beautiful. John got his lawn mowed. Our, our lawn is mowed. Steve did all the weed whacking. Everything is looking beautiful out there. Green and lush, just like Wisconsin is supposed to be in the summer. Oh. And um, we had unseasonably warm weather this week. It was like in the 90s and very humid, which I love. You know that about me. But next week, it's supposed to be like really cold. Tomorrow morning, Steve is golfing with some old friends from where he used to his work. And um, it's supposed to be 46 or 44 degrees. So, yeah. <laughs> Wendy said it's no mo May. Not here in Wisconsin. Not where I am, Wendy. <laughs> it's mo mo May. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. If you're watching later on YouTube, we now have a super thanks button. I hear from some of you that you are demonstrators and you wish you could help me out, but of course you're ordering from yourselves. And that super thanks button is like a tip jar. So if you're watching later on YouTube, you can see that right under the video is a super thanks. Click on it, you can check it out. Um, always appreciate it. And there are, I have all my gifts here tonight, my prizes that are going out. First of all, I have for commenting. Everybody who's on here needs to leave a comment. So please leave a comment. Doesn't matter whether you just say hi or whatever you wanna say. You get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have some brand new iridescent pearl basic jewels. These are so pretty, you guys. These are for a comment from my Facebook Live last week. These are going out to Kathy Sherlow of Reading, Ohio. I already have these packaged up and ready for the mail because Steve and I are going to South Park tomorrow. I'm working, but he's also going to be working in the garage for a couple days. I'm taking all my computer work and stuff like that, but I wanted to make sure I could get these in the mail before I left because who wants to wait around for their prizes, right? Everybody loves happy mail. The second way that you can get entered in drawing to win fabulous prizes is by clicking on that share button. Right now on Facebook, there's a share button someplace on your screen. You can click on that and share this video right to your profile. If you're watching later on Facebook, you can do the same thing, click it and share it. And also on YouTube, you can click and share 
this video, and I so appreciate that. I have um, an Expressions in Ink ephemera kit. These are so, so pretty, you guys, as well as some of our white glitter ribbon. This gift is going out to Polly Rink Riggleman of Roseburg, Oregon. It is ready to go in the mail, Polly. I will have this out there tonight so that Corey will pick it up in the morning. He's my mailman. Oops, hang on. Hang on, I just lost my little sticky strip and it's sticking to my fingernails. Now I gotta seal it. There we go. Get in there. All right, ready to go. Pretty, pretty, right? And where did I, oh, I sent that other one right there. Also, the third way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me. And for placing an order in the last week, everybody's name was put into a drawing. I And I know this is backwards, but it just is what it is. This is, this is the good feeling stamp set. Now, when I turn my camera around down to my desktop, everything will be right side up. But for, for now, it's going to be backwards. This is a fantastic greeting set. This is going to Tracy Gill in Gap, Pennsylvania. Tracy, congratulations. This is on its way to you. Congratulations to all of you that are winning prizes tonight. And thank you all so much for doing the things that get you entered in the prizes because they really help me out and help me grow my business. So I so appreciate that you do that. Next on my agenda here is, I think I'm almost done. I showed you all of that. <clears throat> Don't forget we have a join special going on right now. Being a part of my team is one of the funnest things you'll ever do. And I've heard from so many. I was reading through the comments, looking if I had to answer any questions from last time. And so many of my team members popped in and said, Joining Kelly's team is the best thing I've ever done. And I'm telling you, it is so much fun. There are no strings attached. I will never ever make you do any more than you're comfortable with doing. I do not ever push anybody to do anything. If you wanna just order your own product and get a discount, that's fine with me. Most of my team members are discount shoppers. If you want to start a business, I can help you along with that. But remember that we are all independent demonstrators. So usually what you put into something is what you get out of something, right? There are no magic wands here, um, but I work hard and I know that I have had a really good success with that. So if you wanna start a business, if you wanna be a discount shopper, there's a fantastic join um, promotion going on right now. You're going to get the In Color Designer Series paper you're going to get an assorted pack of cardstock in the new in colors. You're going to get this fabulous grid paper, which I love. Somebody last week asked if there's any measurements on it. There is a ruler right up here, you guys. It just doesn't have the numbers on there. And I think they did that to keep this looking very pretty. I don't know why there are no numbers, but it does have a ruler at the top. This is in all of our in colors, which oops, let's, let's do this in. This is prettier. All of our in colors, which are super pretty. You get a pack of that, and you get all five ink pads in the new in colors when you join. That's over and above the $125 of product you get to choose. Completely customizable. You order, you pay $100, you pay $99. It's $99 plus tax. There's no shipping on it. You get a paper pumpkin kit. <laughs> we are lucky to have you. Thank you so much. How long does the discount shopper um, last? So this promotion goes until May 31st. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what you're asking me, or if you're asking me how long can you continue to be a discount shopper before you are no longer active? That would go, let's see, right now is May, June, July, August, September, I think till the end of October, January, February, March, then April, May, June, no, I'm wrong, April, May, June, July, August, till the end of September, you would get to continue to be on my team. You get to participate in all the fun stuff that I have. We have a team meeting every month. I have a Q&A live right here on Facebook for my team members every Tuesday. We have um, team training every Wednesday if you're, you know, if you're looking for business ideas. Um, so you get to be on my team until the end of September. 
without doing anything. Now, if you want to remain active, you need to place a minimum of $300 in orders. And somebody asked me, is that before or after the discount? It's, gosh, I don't know how to say this. It's you order $300 and then you get your discount, okay? So you're not actually spending $300, right? Because you're getting a 20% discount. So there you go. Um, if you have any other questions, I have a whole area on my blog that, um, yeah, and who just said that? Juanita said it's easy to spend $300 every three months. It really is. You don't have to order that all at once, okay? You can order it all at once if you want, or you can do $100 here, $50 there, $100 there, just as long as you're meeting that minimum. That keeps you active. Now, if you don't, what happens if you don't meet the minimum? Does Stampin' Up! like contact you and say, give our free stuff back? No. No, they don't. You get to keep everything. There are no strings attached. Nobody's going to harass you. I'm going to let you know that, hey, you are um, coming up to the end of your discount shopper status and you have not met your minimums for the quarter. Um, and, and right now you get until the end of September because you get a full quarter. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I will let you know just so that you know. I've had a lot of people who were like $20 short and didn't know it. So I like to let everybody know. And um, yeah, it's $300 a quarter, not a month. It's $300 a quarter. But because we're not in a full quarter right now, you would get to the end of September to do that first one. I hope that makes sense. Any questions on that, feel free to email me. You can also message me on Facebook. Um, before I forget, I want to let you guys know that my Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie, is having her um, uh, marriage celebration. I don't know what you call it. It's a reception. It's a wedding reception um, next weekend. So we're super excited about that. And um, so I don't know what's going to happen on Sunday. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to be live Sunday night or not. I'm thinking at this point that I am, and I am preparing projects to be live so that I will have everything done ahead of time and not have to worry about it. Um, I, I think that we'll be, you know, home and ready, but I'll let you guys know. I'll post on my Facebook page if something is happening with the family. I don't want to say, oh, sorry, you guys, I got to leave, right? Um, I'll let you know, but I think I'll be live next weekend, so... Um, just wanted to give you a kind of a heads up on that. And right now, I have the cup of tea online class. Registration is open. You are going to get, oh gosh, I can't remember the details. I think it's five different card ideas and then a boxed set of five other cards with this kit. All your cardstock is pre-cut and ready for you to stamp on it. Your kit comes with ribbon, fun flowers, and we're going to include a little craft box. So that's going to be fun. Um, you can find all the registration on my blog, online class. Scroll down until you see online classes. Click on it. It'll take you right there. Also, the sweetest cherry kit class. I've got that going this month. That's going to include a half a pack of a wash in beauty designer series paper. Those beautiful iridescent um, pearls that I just gave away to Kathy. Uh, Peekaboo treat bags, rose gold and white ribbon, and a blending brush. So we're going to be doing something with a blending brush. Yay! And um, that kit is available to order on my blog. Um, you can include the bundle, the Sweetest Cherries stamp set, with the matching punch if you don't have it, or you can just get the kit. Um, all the prices and all the details are on my blog. Bingo registration is going to come out mm, probably this week, you guys. We're going to be using the He's All That bundle, the Let's Set Sail bundle, and the Wildlife Wonder bundle for a bunch of masculine cards. So bingo this month is going to be masculine cards. We make five cards, and in between those cards, we play four games of bingo. So it's a lot of fun. You're going to get the He's the Man, uh, I think a half a pack of that designer paper. You're going to get the Rustic Dots embellishments and linen thread to make the cards and the make and takes. That is $35. You can add on any of those bundles. Wendy says, yes, bingo. You can add on any of those bundles on your bingo um, registration. And again, I don't have the bingo registration up yet. Probably when I go to South Park, that's what I'm going to be working on because that's kind of computer work that I can do there. I 
think we're done. Who's ready to stamp? Good grief, Kelly. My goodness. I am just yuppie, 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 yuppie. But you're my people, right? <laughs> I need to talk to my people. I need to let them know what's happened since I saw them last time. <laughs> All right. Make sure, did I say, make sure you give me a thumbs up on Facebook, also on YouTube. I really appreciate that. That always helps me out. Here's my baskets. Oh, here they are. So, we're going to do this one first. I am, tonight, I am using, are you ready for it? Oh, who has this? Who has this bundle? We have a stamp set and a matching punch. Oh, I have some cute, cute color combinations for you tonight. And did you guys catch my blog hop from Friday? I no, it was Saturday. Saturday night I had a blog hop and I used this bundle. So there's another additional idea there for you. And then let me keep going here. I'm gonna get all my stuff out and then I'm gonna turn this camera around so we can have some serious inky fun. Sherry says she does. Yeah, Pamela loves this set. I see Carol is popping in here tonight. All right, I got all my stamps ready to roll. Here's my linen thread. I don't know if I'll be using that or something else. Um, and I need to find my dimensionals. There we go. Okay. And this was, oh, I gotta make sure. My inspiration tonight for my card comes from Kimberly O'Brien. Is Kimberly watching? Oh, Pat says she has it, yay! Yes, and Sarah loves bottled happiness. Okay, ooh, I gotta plug my phone in. All right, you guys, Sharon just got it. Suzanne has the bundle. She just got it yesterday. Oh, you're gonna love these ideas. I've got a couple different um, cards and a bunch of color combinations. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So hang tight. We're gonna flip this around and we're gonna look at my ceiling for a moment. There we go. Okay, I hate the glare on those stamp sets, but lighting is like one of the most difficult things that we deal with doing these videos, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that this is straight because I hate it when it's crooked. My friend Barb gave me a leveling thing and I don't know what I did with it, but I'm sure it's probably right at my fingertips. Okay, here's that pretty little grid paper. So, here's our bottled happiness, you guys. We have this fabulous, fabulous punch. And I also wanted to show you, here's our catalog. This is the stamp set. We got the punch down here and look at these adorable ideas with this. <gasps> Message in a bottle, that's really fun. So you've got a couple different things going on here. You've got a little message in a bottle, you've got wine, and then you've got a bouquet of flowers. So lots of different things that you can use this for. And I am going to, now can I see over there? Yeah, I can. I just wanna make sure I can see your comments popping up. I decided for the inside greeting, I was gonna bring in um, some other type of a, a sentiment. And so I've got charming sentiments. This is brand new in our annual catalog. We are also going to be using Polished Pink, Flirty Flamingo, and Smoky Slate Ink for this card. And the In Color 6x6 Designer Series Papers. How many of you have these? Because I'm telling you, if you don't, you're going to add them to your order and you're welcome. <laughs> They're so, so pretty, you guys. I love, love, love all the different patterns. We've got the um, Starry Sky, the Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, and Sweet Sorbet. Are you impressed that I remembered all those names? It's really hard when we get new products to try and remember all the names. But look at the little flowers and the plaids and the polka dots, and then we have stripes. So these patterns come in all of our color families. So this is the new in color. I think you can get, yeah, there's one in the old in colors. And we have brights, regals, neutrals, and subtles, six by six papers. And these make, these are just fabulous for little accents. 
on cards, or you can make them a whole card if you want to, but I tend to use them for accents, which is what I'm gonna be doing with our card today. So let me set that aside, and I'm gonna get everything out here. What do I have on the back here? Oh yeah, what color I used, <laughs> so I might get, get confused. Okay, here comes our color combinations. Oh, I've got another, hang on, I've got a light out over here. I unplugged it from my computer. Oh, and then this week, you guys, guess what happened? My laptop, the magic pad, like the mouse pad, quit working. Yeah, great. That's just the start. So I think I'm gonna have to get a new laptop and oh my good Lord, I have a MacBook Air and I love my Macs. I know people are like, oh, you can get a computer for $400. Yeah, well, not really. Um, <laughs> you can get a problem for $400 <laughs> and I have plenty of those. I don't need any more problems. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fork out a lot of money for that which means I'm gonna to need to work a little harder. So that's good, right? That's good, it's good for everybody. Okay, I am going to start with a polished pink card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And we are going to score, or I'm sorry, burnish that fold. We have a little bit of scoring to do, I almost forgot. So let's bring our paper trimmer in here. Um, if you want to, you can score this line. It's going to be four and a quarter, right? But we're going to do another score line at two inches. So this is kind of a fun fold. Well, it's not kind of. It is. It's a little bit different than what we usually do with this size card. You know, usually you fold it here and then you fold it all the way back. Well, this folds back just a little bit shorter. And it's just something different. It's, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just a little different. And I like it. And like I said, I got the inspiration. I'll show you this card when I'm done. Don't let me forget to show you the inspiration card that I, I created this with because I need to give um, I need to give Kimberly O'Brien some kudos for this because I really liked it. All right, next what we have is we have an envelope, basic white envelope. We've got a basic white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna go on the inside of our beautiful little card. We've got a piece of flirty flamingo, and this is three and a quarter by four and a half. Yep, okay. I, ha I haven't made this card yet, so I'm like, is that color combination gonna work? It's gonna work. And then we've got basic white here that is three by four and a quarter. I've got three strips of the, um, oh, this is flirty flamingo, by the way, you guys. This comes from the Brights designer series paper three half inch strips of the little floral. I love that. I, that that's like my, oh, it's my favorite. And a scrap of basic white. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp with our smoky slate and our bottle. And I'm just gonna put this down towards the bottom so that I know my punch will reach it. And get that lined up. Don't let me forget to show you my mail too when we're done, okay? I've got it sitting right over there. I don't wanna forget it. Okay, and the other thing we're gonna do mm, is we are going to take, there's a little, let me show you this. There's 13 different stamps in here, right? We've got a two-step stamping with the flowers. We've got some sentiments. We've got a little, I don't know what this is called, but somebody will tell me, it's like a little jug it looks like a moonshine jug to me, so that's right where my mind goes. <laughs> we have a, another, like, this can be a vase. It can be a bottle of wine. It can be a bottle of booze. Whatever you need it to be, it can be. And we've got a little label. So these little sentiments fit on this label. We've got a cork and then also this sprig image. So there's 13 different stamps in here. So I'm going to take, oh, I got, look at, I got a sequin or something attached to that. There we go. I'm going to take my label and I'm going to use my flirty flamingo. And oops, let's get that inked up good. We're going to stamp that. I'm going to bring this in. Um, somebody asked me too the other day, I didn't have my piercing mat in here. Well, it's because I didn't want to cover up this beautiful grid paper, but I really did miss it. So this is, it, I'm, I'm not just goofing around with you guys when I say that this cushion really does help your stamping because it does. 
but I didn't want to cover up this pretty grid paper. Now I'm coming in with polished pink. We're going to see how this looks. And I got to kind of get my head in here. I don't want to scream in your ear though, because I'm standing up now. You guys know I'm a lazy stamper. I got to sit down. Oh, that turned out perfect. And then sending cheer. The other sentiment in here is why not? Why not? <laughs> I love that. And then we are going to fussy cut this little bugger out. I took my glasses off because those glasses only are for reading the screen on my phone when I'm live. Isn't that funny? And now I need to go get my other glasses so that I can see what I'm doing here because it's not, this is not easy. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't, what is going on? I need to go get my eyes tested. I got my eyes tested last year and I never even went and got new glasses. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab my glasses. bathroom so I wouldn't forget to put them on so don't worry I got them and now I can see okay I did pretty good <laughs> all right we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this right on our bottle I am using multi-purpose liquid glue this is my favorite glue my favorite adhesive I like it because it gives you a little wiggle room before it dries and I know those of you that have been watching me forever you're probably mouthing these same words as I say them because <laughs> I sound like a Repeat the repeat parrot, right? Okay, so here's our cute, our cute little vase or bottle of booze or whatever you'd like it to be. It can be anything you want. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Whoops. All right. Put some dimensionals on the back. And let me grab my little basket of goodness so I can find some minis. Uh, here's some more. Here we go. We have big dimensionals and mini dimensionals. I just want one up there on the, um, you know, that thing, <laughs> this, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm gonna set that right there. Don't let me lose it. Now we're gonna come in with our inside layer. By the way, all of these projects can be found, still photos of them. So you can just bring them up on your screen and recreate them with ease. Still photos of these will be seen on my blog. This is my blog address. At the end of this video, I'll put a link up um, that will take you right to the blog post for this, okay? And that'll happen on YouTube, not on Facebook, um, unless you're rewatching it on Facebook. No, I think you have to go to, you'll, you'll have to go to YouTube to see that. But anyways, um, I will have free downloads, like a whole project sheet you can print out with all the dimensions, all the ingredients, the colors, and some brief instructions and pictures. I will have that on my blog, but I'm not sure I can get it done tonight. So I just want you to know that eventually, like at the latest tomorrow, it will be there so you can go print it out or save it to your computer. So what I wanna do with one of these half inch strips is I wanna put it right here but I wanna get that sentiment in here. And the one that I chose says, wishing you everything wonderful. And I think, gosh, I'm wondering if I should stamp that. What do you guys think? Should I, I don't know if I should stamp that in the polished pink or if I should stamp it in black. And I like black and pink together, so I'm bringing out the black. This could be not the best idea, but we're gonna find out right now. It's only paper, right? And I have I happen to have lots of it. <laughs> I'm gonna stamp that right here. So we are sending cheer, wishing you everything wonderful. And I do like the black in here. So um now we're gonna glue this on. And I didn't look at I just got ink on there. Yep, look right there. Let me lick my fingers and wipe them on my pants. <laughs> you guys do that? I watched our CEO, Sarah Douglas. She does the same thing. She licks the ink off her fingers. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'm like, oh, I didn't know if anybody else did that or not. Okay. There we go. I, I've got my sand eraser. Okay. And that just took that little smudge. Oh, here's another one. Smudge right off of there. So sand eraser is really helpful. Now, Sand eraser is part of my sticky kit. This sticky kit has all the goodies in it, all the adhesives. We've got a sand eraser in there and also a glue eraser. 
as well as the liquid glue, the mini glue dots. I've got all three dimensionals, black, big and many, white, big and many, tear and tape, um, seal plus, seal plus refill. Oh, this thing is mm, delicious. You'll find all the information to order a sticking kit on my blog, but that's where the sand eraser is. And Stampin' Up! does not sell the sand eraser or the glue eraser. Those are, I got those. Okay, here we go. We are going to add our glue right here. So we can put this little strip in there. I need to pull that, oh, hang on. I have to pull that down just a little bit. Oh, see that little thing that I just did there with that? That's making me sweat. That's what Haley says now when the kids are like a handful. I think they went to leave the Y the other day and Valerie threw an ever-loving hissy fit and did the whole, you know, blank bod thing. And Haley said, oh, by the time she got out to the car, she was really sweating. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like with the hot flashes. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah, you know, and it's just hard as a mom not to lose your cool and come unglued like when everything is just going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> or a seasoned mom, or how about a granny? Okay, here we go. Now, let me take a drink. My throat's getting dry. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the flowers. Oh, let me close this up. We don't need this anymore. These are so cool. I love, love, love the way these work. So what I'm gonna do is, your flowers are going up like this. This is the more solid image. This is a more detailed image. And um, this little opening right here is where your bottle kind of sticks up into. So with the bigger solid image, I'm gonna go with the 30 Flamingo. Gosh, I forgot what color I was using. And I'm gonna stamp that a little as far up as I can and then I want this opening to be in the middle of my piece okay so it's right there so I have that done then we're gonna come in with the more detailed and the little leafy things and yes our leaves are going to be polished pink and it's my card I can make my leaves whatever color I want you can make yours whatever color you would like right now you want to get your head over this that sounded pretty stern you wanna get your head over this so that you're putting your flowers in the little openings where they're supposed to be. So let me pull this back just a little bit so I can see what's going on here. Yep, looks good. I'm push it back up here. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, beautiful. And I see that I just got a little bit of, a little bit of ink on there. Don't worry, we'll get it. <laughs> Okay, look at how pretty. Now that's the color combination. I didn't know if this would look good together or not, but I really do like it. So, very pretty. Now, we're going to, oh, here we go. We're gonna find our little bottle and get the backings off. This is a take your pick tool, by the way. I use this for everything. You're gonna see me using it constantly throughout this video. And you can find one in my online store if you're looking for one. I wanna make sure this is centered on here and straight. So, there we go. <gasps> Oops, that's crooked. I gasped too soon. Hold your gasp. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. I love it. Ah! Okay, we're gonna put this on our mat. This is pretty easy. Like this, I found, I found this whole bundle very easy to design with. Like I've made a whole bunch of cards. I'm probably gonna be sharing another one with you well, tonight, but another one with you next week. I was making it for tonight, but I'm like, I don't have time for, there's not enough time tonight for me to make all of these cards that I've made, right? So I'll share another one with you next week. I've got it set off to the side and ready to rock. I'm just cleaning my stamps off. This is a Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y, and it is in my online store. You just wet it, squeeze out the water, and put it on a plate or in a, one of our empty stamp cases. That's how I clean my stamps, I love it. Okay, I wanted to put a little bit of something something on here. This is polished pink. It's 
So this is going to go in here. We, we have some more things to do. This is polished pink, and I, that's not making me that I don't like that. Okay, so meh, we're not going to use that. We're going to go with linen thread. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure which one would look good. And we're going to do a little triple bow. This is a bow jig. And the reason why I'm telling you guys all these little details is not to be like, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. But people ask me a lot of questions about these products. And so I just want to give you all the information right up front so that you'll have it and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to ask me and then wait for me to answer you. That's annoying. But this is a bow jig. You can make it yourself. Um, I have some that I sell just for convenience. I don't make any money on them. Um, they're ten dollars, and that covers my shipping to you and the cost that I have to pay for them. But these two holes are one inch apart, and then a half an inch and a half an inch. So that's how this is. This is the nail. This is super easy. You just drill some holes in a piece of wood. It doesn't have to be this fancy. These are really nice. They're you know they're routered on the edges. And then the guy that makes these puts holes in the ends of them so you can store your nails and you can store this flat to take it with you or whatever. But this I call a bow jig. If anybody wants one, just pop me an email and I'll invoice you $10. But otherwise you can make your own. So I just want you to know that. Um, here comes mini glue dots. But yeah, the reason why I tell you all the details like that, like the chamois and how to spell it, because lots of people will get to the online store and they'll spell something the way they think it needs to be spelled and it won't bring it up in a search because it's not spelled perfectly and it's annoying. There's nothing we can do about that. But, you know, internet searches are what they are. At least, you know, we can keep jabbing at them, right? <laughs> keep trying. Yeah, I like, I, what do you guys think? Do you like the linen? Oh, Cynthia says she loves her Bojig. I know, I know. And Judy says $10 is a steal, and they are fabulous. You get perfect bows every single time. So here's our cute little thing. Now, I'm wondering, should I use, what should I use on these for embellishments? And I've got a little basket here of all the new stuff. Well, not all of it. Some of it's over there. I think I'm going to go with the iridescent pearls because they're tiny. Oh, here's another tip, you guys. Um, when Priscilla was here from California, she saw me struggling to get this open and get them in and out and all. She said, just cut a slit in the side of them and pull them right out. You can put them back in their protective sleeve to, you know, keep them nice, but so much easier for me to do that. So here's my take your pick tool again, and that's what it's called, take your pick tool. And it's got a little putty end on it. And so I am grabbing these little pearls and I'm just going to put, I don't want to pearlize the whole thing because I like the center of the, I like to see the center of the flowers. So I'm just going to put a few pearls on there. What do you guys think? Is that okay? Or do you think that looks weird? You let me know. We'll keep moving on. And you, I can always come back and put more pearls on. Gay it up. That's right, Courtney. We had our, um, um, catalog kickoff live event and Courtney was telling that um, they have a friend named Gay and she likes to really like decorate things up so once they get a card made then when they start adding all the embellishments and the ribbons and stuff like that they call it they they're gaying up their card and I love that that's so funny and it's you don't hear that name too often anymore I have a sister-in-law named Gay so I was, it was like, oh, you don't hear that very often. So these are our other two half inch strips of the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just putting these right on the side. And then we're gonna trim them off. I almost feel like I'm wearing a contact in my left eye tonight. It's like something's in there and it's bugging me. Okay, so here comes this. This is gonna go right on here. And we're going to put glue on half of this. So what I was doing earlier today, you guys, is I was trying to figure out good color combinations for these two-step stamping flowers, right? What do you guys think of that? Wishing you everything wonderful. Isn't that cute? Bright and colorful and cheerful, sending cheer. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Then 
I want to show you. Oh, oh, we need to do our envelope. Dang it, I do that every time. I clean off my stamps and that's not what I should have been doing. I should have been stamping my envelope right away. So this is the front of my envelope. And I am just going to come in here and stamp those pretty little flowers and clean my stamp again because by golly, I can't do it right the first time. <laughs> and then we're going to come in here like this and get this all lined up again. What I do when I'm lining this up, you guys, is I'm looking for the centers of these go with these flowers that are on here. So when you go to line this up, that's what you're looking for is where the flowers go. And there we go. Yay. And we'll clean this off and we'll be done with that. And there's our pretty little envelope. Here is our gorgeous card. Now I want to see, what did you guys say about the pearls? Did you guys answer me about the pearls? Should I put pearls on all the flowers or just leave it as it is. Got so many comments coming in. Looking, hang tight, oh, gay it up. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're so funny. Courtney, that is so hilarious. Yeah, I think I'll just leave those few little pearls on there. I think that's nice. Here's our matching envelope. Now on my blog hop, that was yesterday, I made this card and if you watched my video it was kind of funny because I planned on making a whole rainbow of colors and then my daughter said she was coming over with the babies and so I had two choices I could sit up here in my office by myself and continue to make cards and rainbows of colors for my blog hop or I could make one card tell everybody my family came first <laughs> and go play with the grandbabies and that's what I did so I wanted to show this to you. This is pumpkin pie and petal pink. Also beautiful, super simple, easy card layout, nice and quick to make. But here's my next color combination that I was gonna make this in. So I just made a little different card. This is the flirty flamingo with the polished pink. Okay, so there's that one. Oops, hang on just a second. We'll get these spread out here so you can see them. And then, here comes oh, Orchid Oasis with Highland Heather. And this is the same card with a different color combination. So there we go. There's three. I have more. Don't worry. <laughs> I love doing this. I love creating the same card in, in a bunch of different colors, right? Now I have to show you. My original card, this is where I got my inspiration. Isn't this cool? There's some, um, can you see the octopuses? Or the, these are jellyfish, <laughs> octopuses. <laughs> oh my gosh, my sea life needs to a little uh, review. The jellyfishes, which I couldn't remember what those are called when I needed them either. I know that's a starfish, but look at the sailboat. This is actually the Let's Set Sail bundle, which is one of the bundles that I'm using for bingo. It comes with a punch and a fabulous stamp set. So this is the card Kimberly O'Brien made. Kimberly is on my team. And one of the fun things about joining my team is that we do card swaps and you can join the card swap. We do one a month. And it doesn't matter if you are a business builder or a discount shopper. It is so fun to get a whole bag. Let me find a bag of cards. Here's one. Oh, this is my swap card. I can't show you that because I'm going to do that for a video. Uh, let's see. Do I have bags of cards around here? Gosh, I put them all away. So I don't. I thought I did. Nope, I don't see any. But anyways, it's awesome to get a whole bag of cards. Here, I'll show you the back side. Didn't see anything. <laughs> Element of surprise. But this is a swap going out. And that's where I got this card. It's just, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. And you put your little name, put your name in there, letting everybody know that's your card. And we put all the swap cards in clear envelopes. So here's three color combinations. Are you guys ready for the next card? The next card goes a little further. We're gonna gay it up a little bit, Courtney. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let me get 
me get my robe. Let me get my luxurious pottery barn robe out of the way. <laughs> that sounded snooty, didn't it? You guys know that I'm never snooty, right? <laughs> like snooty isn't, it's not part of who I am. But I do like to sound fancy sometimes, like dressing room. Yeah, that's kind of fancy. Okay, here comes our layers. Now, we are using, the last card uses Flirty Flamingo. That comes from the Brights Designer Series paper. And this time we're gonna be using Pacific Point, but I have to show it to you again, because these are the Brights. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, I just love this. There's Coastal Cabana, Parade, Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody. This is our um, Pacific Point. This paper is so pretty. It's called Brights 6x6 Designer Series Paper. The other one was 20, let's see, this one is 2022 to 2024 in color. And then we also have neutrals six by six brights subtles and regals so beautiful beautiful paper all right i'm going to move that off to the side because we got everything we need right here and if you're in the catalog kickoff event oh my gosh are we having a blast over there I have to do my gallery upload. I'm going to be uploading 15 different card ideas to the card gallery that already has 30 cards in there. Ah! Okay, this is our um, card again. Now, this is the same layout. We're just going to do something a little different to it. So I'm going to come in here. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I'm going to come in here and do my scoring at two inches. And this is Tahitian Tide, which I really am enjoying. Like at first I was like, oh yeah, I don't know. But now I'm, I'm like, oh, this is really pretty. And it's super pretty with Pacific Point. Like boom, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, this is our inside layer. And I think I'll do the same thing with this. I'll use the Memento. Um, black ink da, 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 with the same sentiment because I like this wishing you everything wonderful this leaves this card wide open and I need a variety of cards I could I could then take a happy birthday or you know a congratulations in here whatever I happen to need then I've got three strips of half inch so we're just gonna put this together just like we did the last one We're going to get excited about the extra element when we gay it up. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait till I tell my sister-in-law. I might see her tomorrow. My brother. Oh, look, I just smeared it, you guys. Dang it. I've been doing that lately. Okay, so here's the love of my liquid glue. That did not dry yet. We're flipping it, and we're going to make this card not smeared. I gotta let my dry, my glue dry or my ink dry a little bit more before. Oh crap! Before <laughs> before I'm touching it. Oh my good grief! Let's see if I let's see how good I am. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Hang on. I usually have a million pieces cut to that size, but I need to make some more. I take a whole ream of white paper and I cut it four by five and a quarter for the card insides and fronts. That looks crooked, doesn't it? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not having a hot flash. This didn't bother me as much as some other things might. <laughs> I always think it's so funny how my body's like, Whoa! it just sends it into overdrive. Like, oh, I just screwed up. This is fine. You know what? You know why this is happening, you guys? That's a perfect example. I did not have my piercing mat in here. This is a stamp and pierce mat. That's what it's called. And if you find yourself flubbing up, like the ink smear wasn't, but that you didn't stamp on the last one, if you find that happening to you, I'm telling you, this mat makes a huge difference on, especially with the photopolymer rubber, the clear rubber. It needs a little cushion and it seems so dumb 
because you would think that a super hard surface is gonna be your best stamping surface, right? Like a hard table, not true, not true. I was flabbergasted when I learned that from Stampin' Up. And that's another thing about being on my team is all these little tidbits of information that we learn, whether it's you know by trial and error or whether it's Stampin' Up, they give us a lot of training. And it's fun training because guess what? It's about stamping. <laughs> so yeah, join my team. You'll get to be part of that whole thing. Okay, we're gonna put these on there right away. So pretty. I love the contrast. What do you guys think about the contrast in color? I absolutely love this. Oh, I just looked at my screen to see if I had any questions. We've got 507 people watching right now. You guys are amazing. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much. I love having all of you here with me on a Sunday night. This is like my favorite thing to do with all my Stampin' Friends on a Sunday night. Love it. Okay, here comes my other piece. Ah, uh, isn't that so pretty? Like these colors are just like, they remind me of the Caribbean um, ocean, the water when you're in Cancun or Cozumel. I need to go on a cruise. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Who else needs to go on a cruise? Let's go. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, let's bring in the rest of our goodies here. See if I know what I'm doing. I'm getting out all the goodies. All the goodies. So, how many of you have used the vintage bottle shaker domes? How many? These are super duper cool. And we're going to use one on this card. So, I've got Pacific Point and Tahitian Tide. And I've got Tahitian Tide. This is our new uh, metallic weave metallic woven ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Oh, we have it in all the new in colors. Before I forget to you guys, this is my host code. If you place an order in my online store that is under $150, if you could please use that code. Um, you'll find on my blog where to put it in. I've got a picture of, you know, I think I have a picture where you put it. Maybe not. In my newsletter anyways. Um, but this really helps me out. That's how I can give away door prizes and stuff like that because I, that's how I get them is when people use my code. Okay, Pacific Point. If your order's over, over $150, don't use the code. I want you to get the rewards that Stampin' Up! gives. So you need to have those. But if it's under $150, you don't get any rewards. All right, we are going to get out our flowers again. And first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take that punch and we're gonna punch it. This is our white layer. This is um, three by four and a quarter. And we're gonna center this. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's just a little bit up. What you need to watch for is I'm gonna pull it away from the bottom enough so that it'll cover this. I don't want this sticking out from the bottom of my layer. So I'm just gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna see my paper's right there. I'm going to push it down just a little bit and then I'm going to center it. And this layer is like pretty much even with this punch. Boom. Okay. <gasps> this is so fun. Now we're going to do a little stamping. Okay. We're going to take that big bold image and we're going to put that in the Tahitian Tide. And again, you want that opening at the top of your vase or bottle. And I'm just gonna stamp it just like that. Ah, glorious. Oh, where's our envelope? Where's our envelope? Let's get that done right away too. I didn't forget. So I won't have a hot flash this time. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so annoying. Okay, we're gonna do that with the Tahitian Tide again, just like that. And then I'm going to grab the outline or the, um, the little details, I guess, is a better way to say it. And again, we're going to line up those flowers right in the center. 
And that's what I look at is the flowers in the center. Look at that color combination, you guys. <gasps> I know, right? Okay, let's do, that was our practice center envelope. And now we're going to come in and we're going to do this. Let's see if I can get this lined up right. Just like that. Ah, perfect. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do here is we are going to, I'm going to take, I think, a little piece. I'm going to take a little piece of designer paper because I noticed that if you don't do something behind your bottle, it looks a little weird. So, nope, I need it to be a little bit bigger than that. Let's see. Is this going to look okay back there? Yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this off. I'm just It's just a piece that's going to go behind my bottle. I'm just going to use my scissors. Okay. Now, we're going to keep all these little scraps, right? Because we are paper hoarders. And we can use them for something else. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our take your pick tool, again, my favorite little tool, and poke it into this. This is an adhesive piece. Gotta get it started and then you can peel it off. Just like that. So this is all sticky now. And this is that little shaker dome. And now I'm gonna bring that in and set it right down in here. Just like that, cool. Yeah, um, I could have kept this down a little bit further. So I would kind of recommend that you don't leave this much space. You don't need that much space because my flowers kind of get cut off, but we're going to be fine. Don't worry. Now, the next thing I'm going to bring in here is these effervescent elements. E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-T, effervescent. I'd like you to say that a bunch of times fast. Effervescent elements is what I'm going to use in my shaker portion of my bottle. But I wanted to show, oh, I'll show you something else in just a second. So now there's, uh, you know, I struggle with, should I pour the beads in? Should I pull the backing off? Because once you get the beads in there, if you have to mess around with this a lot, they're going to bounce all over the place and be stuck. You know, they're going to be stuck all over to the backing. So I'm, I'm going to do it this way and then we'll decide if it was the right way or the wrong way. <laughs> And then you guys will know better. I will be the guinea pig. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and hold this up. Don't let your don't let your balls fall. <laughs> Look at how cool that looks, you guys. Oh my good grief! So I need some more balls in there. I want this to be fuller. That's what I wanted to look at. So don't let them get away. These are fun. I also saw Wendy Sue, who's on my team, she used these and glued them all over the beer mug set, like the foam coming down the side of the beer mug, super, super cute. So these are really, really a nice um, embellishment. Effervescent, what is it called? Effervescent elements. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick this up and now you gotta be really careful you don't want to bounce these out. So that's why I struggle with, should I take them back off now? But I'm, I'm thinking this was the better idea is to just keep them all in here. Don't let this bounce around. I don't know if I should put the stripes in there or the flowers. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the flowers and I'm just going to stick this on the back. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, I got some stuck up there. Okay, <laughs> they were stuck in the neck of the bottle. You guys, is that not the coolest thing? Maybe a few less so that it actually shakes around. Yeah, that, look at how they're picking up that blue color too because they're effervescent. That's fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, flowers don't have to line up. They don't. You're absolutely right. And you have to remember when you make cards, you don't need to be so hard on yourself. Like I am most of the time, you know, sometimes I'm like, ah, whatever. But um, homemade is made with love. 
and homemade is always going to be, and I mean always going to be better than Hallmark. So keep that in mind, my friends. All right, let me put these balls back. <laughs> you guys, we got balls everywhere. No, I really did, didn't do that bad with it. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I got two more right there. These are really pretty. And I'm really surprised at how... I like that blue paper, but look at how blue those balls are compared to what they look like in the jar, right? Or the container. Very cool. I love this. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're going to take this woven ribbon and I'm going to tie the teeniest, tiniest, cutest little bow you've ever seen in your life because this stuff is really nice to work with. It's very, very flexible and I just tied it and then I'm pulling it down. I'm gonna pull it just a little bit more. Look at how stinking cute that is, right? And then we're going to trim it off. Boop. And get our mini glue dot. Where did they go? Here they are. Mini glue dot. Stuck to my finger. Um, I know that I had a, a live class the other day, but it was it was for the catalog kickoff, and I was complaining about my nails. You guys notice I got my nails done, and I'm not really saying anything about them. Usually, I'd be like, "Oh, look at my pretty nails," but so <laughs> this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, gold was not the right choice, and uh, yeah. So um, I'll be getting my nails done again this week. I have Stephanie's wedding reception party celebration. You guys know she got married in Branson last year, so now they're just having a, a local party. And um, the dress, I bought a dress. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's mauve. And so I need to get my nails redone anyway. So, yeah, that was kind of a big waste of money last week. But they were horrible. Like, this one fell off. The whole painted nail. Hi, Nancy Wolves. I see you in here. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do here is add this right to the front of my card. Oh, I was gonna stamp something here and I forgot. So let's see if I can screw this up now. <laughs> Who wants to see Kelly mess up the whole card at this point? Don't worry, I'm a professional and I think I can handle this. <laughs> there you go. That was very risky, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, let me make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. And now we're going to put glue on the back side of this. Now I know people are gonna say, is that shaker gonna fit in an envelope? Is it gonna cost extra postage? Let's look at it. We'll put it in an envelope. We'll take a look, see. I was wondering if I should do some more, some little embellishments, but I didn't really know what to use with these. I'm wondering, you guys, if our iridescent, if these things would look good on there. What do you think? Let's try one. I'm just gonna try one. I'm gonna set it down really softly. Well, it kind of looks like the balls, doesn't it? What do you guys think about that? Should I put some on there? I think they're kind of neat. I'm gonna, I'm doing it. There's a little bit of lag time. Um, your messages don't come up immediately, so it's kind of hard for me to... <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> I think that looks pretty, don't you? I like it. Okay, so iridescent. No, these are, oh, these are not rhinestone basic jewels. They're iridescent rhinestones. They're on the wrong card. Okay, so where'd our envelope go? Um, right here. Here's our envelope. We're gonna try and gay it up. That's right, okay. Oh, gay's on here. Hi, gay. Uh, Mary Ellen says she got some padded envelopes at the dollar store to put it in. That's a really good idea, too. I like that a lot. This is going to be pretty puffy. I just want you guys to, you know, know what's happening here. Well, let me see if I can get it in an envelope. So this is definitely puffy. Okay, this is going to cost you extra. But you know what? If you're going to make a card like this to send to your family or your friends they're obviously worth it. Otherwise you wouldn't be making a card like this, right? <laughs> Don't make a card for somebody you hate 
that's going to cost you extra postage. But your friends and family, they're definitely worth it. <laughs> These little things are called vintage bottle, bottle shaker domes. Now, I want to show you one other thing. So we've got our effervescent elements, right? And these, let me show you these. These are called for everything fancy sequins. I want to make sure you have them right set up. Look at this. Look at how beautiful these are. You get a whole jar of blue. There's blue and silver and gold and gray. You get a whole jar of green. Yeah, super, super pretty. Lots of iridescent in there too. Look at how it sparkles. I opened these up and I was like, whoa, these are beautiful. These are in the new catalog. <gasps> and all of these pinks, good grief. That just makes me happy. I need to make something for Val and Molly with this, right? Okay, hang on. Here we go. Molly went turkey hunting the other day. By the way, these are four everything fancy sequins. You get all three of them. Yeah, very pretty. This is with the blue for everything fancy sequins. Can you guys see that? And then I glued a couple little sequins on here. And I, oh yeah, it's the same card. Isn't that pretty? Holy cow, absolutely amazing. Yeah, and that one does shake. <laughs> and I stamped an envelope up because I didn't want to be a lightweight, right? Okay, now hang on. Let me put these back in here and all their beautifulness. Oh, I've got mini blue dots sticking to everything. Let me get this put away. This is the bottled happiness. Watch me, watch me clear a room. We've got Tahitian Tide and Pacific Point. And then, where did the other one go? Uh, here's our Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo Polished Pink. Those cards are right here. Ah, oh, so pretty, right? And then we have Highland Heather and Orchid Oasis. That one's coming in right here move these up a little bit so there's those two and then we have petal pink and pumpkin pie right here ah oh, aren't these fun this is the bottled happiness bundle when you buy the punch and the stamp set you save 10 percent. so you definitely want to use the bundle number to buy that and then on the inside, we've got all these charming sentiments. Thank you. Everything will be okay. I really like that one too. Beyond grateful. Woohoo. Hey there. Super fantastic mega news. Wishing you the happiest birthday. So tiny. So precious. Congratulations. This is the one we use. Wishing you everything wonderful. Because you totally deserve it. What's new? Faith over fear. Good luck just for you, not that you needed it, and babies are a blessing. You've got 17 different sentiments in the charming sentiments. So I really liked using that for my inside message. You've also got several nice sentiments in here too. Super cute. Um, this is a bundle that we are using in our catalog kickoff that started on May 3rd and it ends on the 21st. It's a Facebook group with tons and tons of content. We have make and take packets available. This was one of the make and take bundles that we chose. Um, what else did we pick? Um, oh gosh, I can never remember this stuff, you guys. And it's not because it's not important, it's because I have no memory left. Let me look at my little notes here. Um, this is May, this is May. Hope it's back here. We have uh, happier than happy. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. And it's stinking adorable. Oh, I had little post notes in here. Happier than happy is on page 47. So here's the happier than happy. Um, included with the make and take packets is over $30 in products. So you get the ribbon, you get a quarter pack of the designer paper. Um, you need the stamp set. 
the bundle. So if you don't have it, you can add that on or, you know, if you're a demonstrator, you can order it yourself. Also, we're using the Good Feelings, which is the stamps that I gave away earlier tonight, and the um, Bottle of Happiness. So those three products are what we're using for the make and takes. There's nine make and takes in the packet, and then you get over $30 in additional product added in there. So um, if you'd like to register for a make and take packet with the catalog kickoff, pop me an email, I'll send you the registration. It's on my blog, but it's kind of getting buried now. Um, it's totally going to be worth it. And I am planning on placing my order tomorrow morning, probably for all the product that I need to get to go with those. So um, even if you register after that, I usually add a few extras. But if everybody who wants to make and take packet can get them ordered so I have a more true number on what I need to order, that's always helpful. I appreciate that. Okay, let's get some mail out here. I don't have a lot of mail but I definitely want to share it with you. I have something funny that happened. So um, I just opened this today. I think it came yesterday. And this is from the Fourniers in Maumee, Ohio. And I don't think she's one of my followers. She sent me this note. She says, I found this sheet of address labels in my order from Vistaprint. So she just made an order to Vistaprint and they sent her one sheet of my address labels. Is that not hilarious? She mailed them to me. She's getting a handmade card for sure, right? How sweet is that? Like, I, at first I thought it was somebody that I knew, and I thought, well, how strange is that? But I don't think I know her. So <laughs> I thought that was funny. So I'm going to send her a homemade card to thank her for her thoughtfulness and her kindness. Then I got a big box of Halloween stuff, and I'm going to save the Halloween stuff till we get to Halloween but some Halloween decorations and some really fun stuff from my friend, Debbie Spicer. And look at this amazing, incredible, crazy card that she made to go with it. <gasps> look at that. Isn't this cool? This is really fancy, Debbie. This is beautiful. And um, yeah, this is so cool. I love it. So, pr and look what she used to write the message on the back for me. Yep. So pretty. Thank you so much, Deb. That is beautiful. Um, next up, where's the rest of my mail? Oh, here it is. I set it back on the pile. Well, let me lay this right here. Uh, here comes a Laura Weaver. She was one of our winners. She sent me a Mother's Day card and I just thought it was really pretty and her little message inside was so sweet. She says, it's a simple card, I know, but sometimes that, those are the best. And I completely agree with you. And um, she said, uh, da, 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 thank you again from my heart. And she's just thanking me for all the videos and stuff that I provide. So thank you for the Mother's Day card, Alora. This is just beautiful. She tried her hand at watercoloring. You did a really good job. And next up. Oh, Mary Lynn Weller from Port Angeles, Washington. Mary Lynn, you are the sweetest. Look at this. So this is one of those step cards, the really easy kind that I showed you guys how to make. And instead of stamping and doing all kinds of stuff on this panel, she just used an embossed layer and put some Winka Stella on it. And I thought that was genius, right? And I like how she put this front over top of that panel. So we learned so much from each other. She says, Kelly, just because, thank you for all you do. Mary Lynn, you're the sweetest. Thank you so much. Very, very cool. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. We're done for tonight. It is 8.30. My um, virtual incentive trip started at 8 o'clock. We're, we're online tonight. We're, we're do, we're, we did a, they did a thing yesterday for us. Um, we're just gathering together as incentive trip achievers virtually so that we can have a little fun with Stampin' Up. They gave us like a state of the company um, presentation yesterday so we know where, you know, all the things are at, what they're working on in the background, like IT, what they're coming up with. We always like to hear those, what's happening with our company. And um, there was musical entertainment. It was so fun. Mm, loved it. Now, you guys remember... Give me a thumbs up, share this video, 
and leave a comment so you can get entered in the prize drawings for next week. I'm hoping to be live next Sunday. Like I said, Stephanie's wedding celebration is on Saturday. I don't know what kind of family things are going on Sunday, but I'm thinking there's not much, right? So I should be able to handle that. This is my current host code. You're going to find an online ordering button. You can go right to my online store, or you can do a search for my name, Kelly Atchison, A-C-H-E-S-O-N, and find my online store. Join my team. There is no better time than when you get $66.50 free above the 125 you get to pick out and only pay $99 plus tax. That's free shipping. Get a paper pumpkin kit. There's just so much good stuff. You get to be part of something bigger, which is part of my team. You will absolutely love it. I'm telling you, you will love it. It'll be one of the best decisions you ever make. And I'm only saying that because that's what all my team members keep telling me. This was the best decision they ever made. So join my team. I give lots and lots and lots. You will not be disappointed. Um, I'm just looking at all your comments. Thank you guys so much. Everybody's love the cards, love the cards. Thank you so much. Um, also, thank you to my YouTube watchers. Please make sure that you are leaving a comment because tonight uh, the comment winner was actually from YouTube. So from my video last week, um, I put them all together. And Connie's saying, best team ever. Hi, Connie. Happy to see you on here tonight. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Claudia. You are always so sweet. I enjoy my evening with you guys, too. I think I'm going to go check out. I think Steve's still in the garage. I'm going to go see what he's up to. Then I'm going to come back up here. I've got to photograph all of these cards, you guys and get them edited and uploaded and type up my project sheets because I was at the baby shower today. I did not have time to do that. So it's gonna be a late night for me. Tomorrow, I'm giving a presentation for another demonstrator. She asked me if I'd do a creative presentation for her and we would exchange. So I'm doing a creative presentation. It's gonna be a live Facebook Live in her team Facebook group and then She's going to do a business presentation for my team. So I'm super excited about that. Kelly, when I moved, what does it say? Judy says, whoops, don't cancel. Oh, I don't know what just happened here. Oh, I hope I didn't screw something up. Hang on. Cancel. I don't know. <laughs> I missed what you said. She moved to Oregon for her one, tier, tier, one year internship. Oh, yeah. I remember Judy. All right. Thank you guys so much for the shares. That really helps me grow my business. I appreciate that so much. Also, your orders help me stay in business, right? So I can pay my bills. I appreciate that too. I'm gonna let you guys go. Have yourselves a wonderful, fabulous, fantastic week. Any questions, pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com. And thanks for spending your time on Sunday night with me or when you watch the replay. I always appreciate it. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.